And welcome back, guys. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, finally, we will no longer have to deal with the annoying, well, I guess, creaking sound of people walking across the floor because I have moved back upstairs. And after about five to ten minutes of fiddling with everything so I can play online for you guys, um, <laughs> I finally can play Bloodborne with a nice full moon in the background. Um, last time we left off, However, I was at the Father Gascoigne boss room. Uh, I made my way back there, but I've, um, in my downtime, I realized that there was a way, uh, there was an area that I entirely forgot. I did not clear the area, and I wanted to go clear the area, and I also figured I wanted to play the game, but I did not. I don't feel like record. Well, actually, no. It's not one of those I did not feel like recording. I wanted to record. I just knew it was too loud to record. So, I played the game and did some farming. I did one time through Central Yarnum, uh, everything that I've showed before, and it gets you about 10,000 souls if you kill every last thing. And uh, I basically decided that I was going to get me all the items that was in the, um, uh, the bath messenger over here. So... Um, well, yeah, we have the repeating pistol and the hunter's blunderbust. We have, uh, which blunderbust wasn't too bad. I haven't tried out the pistol yet. We have the saw spear, I mean, saw cleaver, saw spear, hunter's axe. Um, and it's a little something I noticed because at first I said that they're basically the same weapon. And in turn, they really are. But right now, this is the saw spear. So if you look at it, saw spear, soul cleaver, or saw cleaver. So basically the exact same thing. Back step, back step, roll, roll. It's when you actually extend them, saw cleaver, and as you look, Vertical swing, vertical, 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 all vertical, back step, horizontal, roll, horizontal, running, oh wait, running, vertical, okay, so then you switch to the saw, uh, saw spear, horizontal, vertical, and then a lot of it is just going to be horizontal, vertical. So you have both horizontal and vertical attacks with the saw spear, but more vertical, uh, more horizontal than um, vertical. Back step. That's a straight spear. <laughs> okay. Roll. Horizontal. Running. I think that's going to be a spear too. Yep, spear. Um, R2. Downward spear. R2. See. So diagonal strike so there is a difference between them um and each one has their own little tricks to them but yeah i kind of like the well i guess they're both situational but i guess if you want to do more crowd control then you would want the uh soul spear especially because the extra range uh because the blade itself is longer then we have my favorite the threaded can't well i won't say necessarily favorite i haven't tried all the weapons in the game but the one that I just feel like is the underdog, the threaded cane, even epic name, bro. EMB himself, Marcus, you know, he, he said and said, start off with the soul cleaver. Rurikon started off with, wait, wrong one, started off with the axe. And uh, not to say that I'm on their level just yet, but I will be. <laughs> but uh, one, the main thing is no one starts off with the threaded cane. So... Again, like I said, that's my reason for starting off with it. But, after trying out the Hunter's Axe, I do like it. You know, it's horizontal. I mean, it's a bunch of vertical and horizontal. I didn't know it did the little smash at the end, though. Didn't know it did that. Charged R2, knocks enemies right down to the ground. Um, back, well, roll. So, upward, uh, upward swing, back step. A, a spear. I mean, well, a thrust. I keep calling spears but the thrust okay but i almost forgot this weapon does do both um slashing and thrusting attacks 
uh, if you extend it, you can tell it, see, does that little thrust. Then the charge star two, spin to win. And then because it's in uh, extended mode, you also have the ability to use L2, because you can't use your guns. And L2 is kind of like, so that's nice. I want to know, does R2 do that same thing? No, nah, okay. So L2 has its own little combo of heavy attacks. Wait, let me get full. So L2. And then that overhead slash at the end. And then uh, back step. Back step. Kind of like a scythe to me. Roll, thrust, and then probably going to be a thrust. Yep, I figured the running would be a thrust. So I do like it. It's a very versatile weapon. And at first I thought I wasn't going to like it. But I actually do like it a lot. So we're going to use it for a little bit. It's a strength weapon. If I... Yeah, I do believe this is a strength weapon. Um, if we go in here, I'll show you um, the stats for them. So, Saw Cleaver Strength. That's annoying. If it doesn't let me connect, I'm just going to keep playing without it. Because this happened in the basement. And that's, I, I really feel, is because... Um, where I'm located is pretty far away from the modem and then my laptop is on my phone is on So we're gonna continue. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this out uh, When it happens again, I'm gonna leave it in just because uh, I'm explaining it this time, but if it happens again edits cutting the shit out um, But yeah back to what I was doing If we look at it saw cleaver it's D and E, so it has a D and, um, no, that's not how you do it. How you do it? How you do the, uh, okay. Standard. Okay, I don't know what that means. Anyway, so I'm just going to send this, I don't know, in terms of upgrades, but, um, so you can tell that's a D and an E. D and strength, E and skill. So this is a strength weapon primarily that gets pretty decent. Uh, well, not decent. E is awful. But uh, it has some um, skill strength. Scaling, god damn it. DD, quality weapon. Um, both decks, well, skill and strength. Saw cleaver. Same as the hunter's axe. So it's basically greater in strength. Threaded cane, however. Now, this is because I've upgraded a little bit, but it has B, E, I mean, E, B scaling. So, it has B in the, um, skill. So, and I believe it has a rune attached to it. Maybe I'm slow, but I think they have runes. Maybe they have runes as they unlock. Then there's, of course, my repeating pistol. Uh, it's... D in terms of blood tinge, D and blood tinge. So all of these are D and blood tinge. They don't require anything special. I mean, I don't get any special scalings, uh, but I think that the repeating pistol has the most requirements of all the other guns because these are starting weapons, so they're really, really average. But anyway, so now we're on to showing you that area that I missed. Uh... And that area, if you remember the source, uh, the area, I, I looked across and said, how do you get to that area? How do you get to that area? I remember now how you get to that area. Uh, and the area isn't too complicated. I did go there on my own um, just to explore the area. Um, 